With the increasing prevalence of smartphones and other high-tech devices that have calculators built into them, and the steadily decreasing price of scientific calculators, basic calculators like the two you see here are starting to become a thing of the past. Despite this, however, there are still some situations in which some people need a basic calculator. Uh, personally, a class I'm taking at school requires that we have a basic four-function calculator. We cannot use a scientific calculator, and we cannot use a calculator built into a cell phone or another similar device. Now, normally for that class, I would use my poor old Texas Instruments TI-1025 from 1978, but unfortunately that thing has bit the dust. So I've had to trek to Walmart and uh, get a new basic calculator to hold me down until I buy another vintage one. As you can see, I bought two of them here. Uh, the only reason being was I was originally going to buy this one, but they were sold out, so I bought this one, and then later they got this one back in stock, so I bought this one. But I'm going to try uh, something a little bit different today in this video. I'm going to do a $5 calculator comparison. We're going to open up both of these calculators and uh, compare their features, compare their build quality, uh, how they feel, how they look, and everything, and just see which one uh, may be the better buy, depending on uh, what you're looking for. So what I have here is a Sharp Elsie Mate model EL243S and a Casio model HS8VA. Uh, these calculators retail for the exact same price in Canadian Walmart stores, four dollars and ninety-seven cents, according to the American uh, Walmart website. Uh, the Casio retails for $5.80 and the Sharp, uh, there are several different sellers of the Sharp, but the lowest price one I could find was $4.04. So these are both basic calculators. There's only like one feature difference between them, but other than that, they're both pretty much exactly the same. They both got eight digit LCD displays. They both have both battery power and solar pa power, which is nice. So let's start with the uh, Sharp here and uh, see what it says on the package here. Sharp has a hard cover, which is actually quite nice, and uh, that's why I was originally just going to buy this one. Indeed, it's got a cover that uh, that's attached to it and flips over. That's pretty cool. Twin power, as we already mentioned. If you look on the back. Nothing much on there, made in China. As for the Casio, there's what it looks like. Large display, durable metal faceplate. That really surprised me. That uh, apparently the faceplate on this thing is actually made of metal. That's really, uh, really quite remarkable. Solar Plus with battery backup. Plastic keys, markup percent. That's the uh, feature that this thing has that this doesn't. It has a markup feature, which I'm sure, for, uh, I know for myself and I'm sure for many other people is absolutely useless. And eight digits. And on the back, unlike Sharp, Casio gives you basically a user manual right on the back. It gives you examples of every single function that you'd use. Casio Computer Company, Tokyo, Japan, made in China. So, let's open both of these calculators up and take a look at them. So here's both the calculators out of their packages and turned on. Behind the Sharp, you actually get a uh, bunch of examples printed on the, uh, on the package there behind the calculator, which is nice. Casio gives you a little warranty card. And if you look at the calculators themselves, the first thing you notice is that the Sharp is slightly larger in just about every dimension especially the thickness due to that uh, cover. Sharp also has a slightly larger display than the Casio. Display readability is about equal on both calculators. I can go on every which angle and uh, visibility for both of them is about the same. Casio is a slightly larger uh, solar panel. I'm not sure if that's really any advantage or not. And for the record, yes, the Casio is it appears to be actual uh, metal, metal faceplate. Although I, uh, I'll show you here. I did some, some uh, twisting, something I like to do to test electronics, their rigidity. And there's how the sharp twists. Actually, quite well built. 
I didn't expect them to be quite well built. Uh, Casio? Casio Flex is about as much. But anyway, yeah, as far as I can tell, that is actual metal. It might be really, really thin, but uh, it's kind of a nice touch nonetheless. Here's the Sharp with its uh, cover on. And I thought it snapped. Oh yeah, it does, yeah. It snaps close. It's got this Sharp logo molded on it. And yeah, that actually looks really nice. I think that's quite stylish as far as a basic calculator goes. So, uh, well done there, Sharp. Fit and finish, not perfect on the Sharp though. Got a little bit of a plastic molding error there. Insignificant, but uh, there nonetheless, no such anomaly on the Casio. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, in my opinion, Sharp wins for uh, looks. I like the color scheme on the Sharp a lot more than the Casio. Now, how do they compare actually calculating stuff? Well, both of these calculators have the basic four functions. They both do percentage, they both do square root, they both do sign change, and they both do memory. And I see that uh, apparently on basic calculators now the popular thing to do is have three key memory. So you have your add to memory and subtract from memory, but to clear the memory, uh, let's say I have a number in memory here, so now when this left button here is both recall and clear, so if I press it once, it recalls, and then I press it again, and it clears. I personally would just prefer having separate recall and clear keys, but uh, hey, that system works good enough, saves a key, and uh, yeah, I can't imagine anyone ever having a problem with uh, having recall and clear on the same button like that. The system seems to work well. As for differences, the Casio has this MU, which means markup. It's some sort of financial feature. I don't even know how to use it. Uh, okay, so basically, if I go 120, MU, 25%, gives me 160. All right. Anyway, as far as I'm concerned, useless feature, but uh, maybe other people can find a use for it. Uh, the other functional difference is the Sharp has separate clear entry and clear keys, whereas the Casio has one key that does it all, and indeed they do function differently on these calculators. Uh, I, I like having the separate clear entry key, although I'm very familiar with how to use uh, one key that does it all. So, just depends on your preference there. Uh, as for the buttons themselves, the Casio is indeed plastic. The Sharp, however, has rubber buttons. Um, oh, they feel pretty good. Um, the Casio has more of a definite uh, button press. It's less spongy than the Sharp, uh, so you're, you're kind of more reassured that you've uh, made a successful button press. Uh, the tr button travel, uh, the distance the button goes down is also a bit shorter. So, button feel, I'd say maybe a bit better on the Casio, but the Sharp is certainly fine. I've done tests with uh, punching in several numbers over and over and over on both calculators, and I had about the same success rate on both calculators. Both of them are very well responsive. Display indicators are different. If you add something to memory, Sharp gives you a simple M that uh, most people are probably used to. Casio, though, you add something to memory, and it shows the word memory at the top. Now, likewise, uh, if you change the sign of a number, make a negative, the sharp uh, shows the negative on the right side of the display, which is kind of odd. I think you'd normally expect it on the left. Uh, the Casio, though, I think is even weirder if you change the sign of a number. It says minus minus. <laughs> at least it's on the left side. So yeah, kind of non-standard, at least to my knowledge, ways of displaying a negative number for both calculators, but uh, whatever. Likewise, if you give them both an overflow condition, Sharp shows a simple E, and Casio writes out error. Both of these calculators as you can see right now, they show the same garbage number, but uh, I have noticed in some cases that uh, on some numbers when that you calculate when you get an overflow condition, the sharp will add zeros to the decimal of the garbage number if the garbage number doesn't fill up the entire display. 
while the Casio will just leave uh, those zeros out and the garbage number won't fill up the entire display. So these calculators are based on different circuits. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't have been surprised if it turns out these were based on the same circuit, but they are not. Something odd though, both calculators, upon receiving an overflow condition, actually allow you to clear the overflow and continue operations on the garbage number. In the Sharps case, you press clear entry, and it clears the overflow, and let's say I subtract one, there subtracts one from the garbage number. And on the Casio, you press clear once, and subtract one, and uh, it works the same. Really weird. Something weird in the case of both calculators is that the percent key uh, doesn't do what it does on my vintage calculators. Basically on my vintage calculators all that percent does is that it divides whatever number is currently on the screen by 100. So if you wanted to take 25% of a particular number, you'd put that number times 25 and then hit the percent key and then press equals. But these, they were completely different. Like if I, like, normally I'd be able to take any number and press percent and it would divide it by 100 but uh, on these it doesn't kinda weird and finally something I don't like about the Casio is the clear button not only do they uh, make it slightly uh, recessed compared to all the other buttons but uh, they put these plastic guides around it to uh, reduce the chance that you press it accidentally I don't like that at all um, I like the Casio's, or the Sharps way a lot better. They just keep the uh, on button there with all the other buttons, although I do see they do recess it a bit. But yeah, I don't like that those plastic guards at all, because you press it and you've got them gouging in your finger. So, uh, points to Sharp for that. And neither calculator has a way to turn them off. They just shut themselves off automatically after a few minutes. Uh, I don't like that, uh, even though these are modern LCD calculators that use current on the order of microamps from the battery, I still like to have an off button, because it is a drain on the battery still, because it's a really tiny battery, but whatever. Now, let's take a look inside each of these calculators. Two Phillips screws on the Sharp and one on the Casio. Sheesh, you could tell neither of these were designed to be opened. I had a very hard time opening the Sharp and I couldn't open the Casio at all. But I did get the Sharp open and take a look at this. A rectangular red LED just smack dab soldered on the circuit board. I have no idea what its purpose is. I tried to, uh, I did some calculations and tried overflow and memory and other situations to try and get it to light up but uh, I've never gotten it to light up. But that's really quite interesting. I have no idea what it's doing there. But uh, there's what it looks like anyway. The board has a revision date of the 22nd of May 2012. Date of manufacture is the 22nd week of 2014. And uh, yeah, there's your battery. That's about it. Well, that's about as complete of, of a comparison of two basic calculators that uh, you could get. So, uh, what's my verdict? Well, I like the separate clear entry uh, button on the Sharp, and I have no use for that markup feature on the Casio. I think the Sharp looks better, and I like the idea of the uh, plastic cover there. Sure, the Casio might actually be more durable, but, you know, it's still able to get scratched up, the display and the keys and everything, but the Sharp, you got the cover there, and uh, it protects it. And it looks nice. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. 100% uh, for me, the winner is sharp. So I'll keep this calculator and uh, this one will go back to Walmart. But which one would you choose if you were faced between these two calculators? Which one would you choose? Leave a comment below and I will see you guys later.